Hey guys, what's going on? James here. And breaking news is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have themselves a new offensive coordinator. It is Kentucky OC, former Rams OC, Liam Cohen. Now, this is a guy who came into the process very late. He literally was the last guy that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers interviewed, but he is the guy who is going to get the job. Liam Cohen was the offensive coordinator of the Kentucky Wildcats in 2021. He joined the LA Rams coaching staff in 2022 as their offensive coordinator, then went back to Kentucky in 2023 as their offensive coordinator. He does have a bit of a history with Baker Mayfield. He was with him for a few games in 2022. And folks, this is a good hire, in my opinion. I am always going to appreciate a guy that was on Sean McVay's coaching staff. Liam Cohen was a part of that coaching staff in a pretty big role as Sean McVay's OC. So that certainly matters. I'm going to be very interested to see what Liam Cohen can do. He has previous experience as an OC, both on the NFL and at the collegiate levels as well. The previous experience with Baker Mayfield, I feel like is going to be very good also. I believe Baker Mayfield just said recently that you know, they were basically a, a wait and see type of thing to see who the OC was going to be. Well, now we know who the OC is at this point. So congratulations to Liam Cohen for being the new OC for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. What kind of offense is he going to run? Well, I imagine it's going to be very similar to what he ran at Kentucky. Now, it was definitely a very run heavy based type of offense with, you know, some passing in there, definitely more of a style that Todd Bowles wants, right? What does Todd Bowles want? Todd Bowles wants to run the football. Todd Bowles runs, wants to have more balance in this offense. This is probably what you are going to expect from Liam Cohen. And we'll probably make some separate videos talking about this, right? That will probably be a thing that we can discuss later on throughout the process. But, you know, again, this is a good hire, in my opinion. I, I think that you certainly could have done a lot worse with this type of hire. Uh, Alex Van Pelt, I didn't even get to make a video about it, but he had went to New England. He was already out of that process. So in terms of guys who had had a lot of, you know, experience as an OC, Liam Cohen was really one of the last guys left. But the Bucks casted a wide net, right? The Bucks casted a very wide net in terms of, you know, the different types of guys that they were interviewing. And Liam Cohen's the guy. He was the last guy in that mix. You saw the difference between when he was at Kentucky and when he wasn't at Kentucky, and that was certainly notable. So, again, it's it's an, it's a, it's a very good hire. The history with Baker Mayfield helps out a lot. The you know wanting to run the football more, I think, is going to be interesting. You know, to add more balance to the offense, and ultimately, we'll see how Liam Cohen does. We will. Um, you know, he was he was very beneficial to Baker Mayfield's time whenever he was with the Rams, just helping him get prepped on a weekly basis. And he's going to be doing more of what Todd Bowles wants in terms of having more balanced attack, running the football more, and just doing those types of things. So, you know, this is a move that isn't necessarily surprising, I would say. Uh, and now we'll see who else joins the offensive coaching staff. Is it going to be some of the people that the Buccaneers interviewed? Is is that going to be an option? We're just going to have to wait and see. I know some people people may have wanted Thad Lewis. Some people may have wanted this guy, that guy. But Liam Cohen's the guy. And we're just going to have to wait and see. So, folks, let me know your thoughts and opinions about this hire down in the comments section below. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Let me know your thoughts and opinions about it. Um, were you impressed with Liam Cohen's time at Kentucky? Do you think that the connection to Baker Mayfield's a good thing? Uh, there's a lot of different types of things that go into this move. And uh, overall, I feel like it is going to be a beneficial, very positive thing. Liam Cohen, I believe, is only like 39 years old also. So he's also got some some longevity on his side, some, some youth as well. And we'll have to see if this is another solid hire by Todd Bowles. But yeah, man, it's good stuff, in my opinion. So... Let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions about this down in the comments section below. Again, thoughts on the connection to Baker Mayfield, thoughts on the what the offense may look like as a whole. Is it going to be good? Is it going to be bad? I don't know. 
I don't know. Let me know, let me know your guys' thoughts. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed. As always, guys, I will see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now, and go Bucks.